Alrighty folks, and welcome to another episode of the Cranky TV channel. So as you can see, the old square is getting pushed to the side once again. Yeah, sadly, there she is. But what we're doing today, we have something a bit more exciting to watch me work on a truck. I picked up this derby car here for around 150 bucks, exactly 150 bucks. And today, we're going to do a Dodge Neon durability torture test. We're about to find out if you can have a Dodge Neon as a service truck, as a vehicle you can use in your day-to-day -day life as a beautiful family commuter that will hold up to the test of time and if you get hit by a tractor trailer or a semi a 90 chevy let's say you get in a tug of war with another vehicle you want to know the dodge neon will be there for you check out this beautiful hunk right here as you can see we have she's just a little bent out of shape there it's you know she's an older unit beautiful interior okay you've never seen anything like it as you can see spoiler on the back she's a fast unit boys she moves pretty good but not good enough because sometimes you have to really get up and go that's the pasture side is for right you have someone sitting there you just throw them out throw them out you just pretty much throw them out of the car and you get more weight reduction just like that speaking of weight reduction these units were designed to be fast dodge you in a few years where is it oh yeah they knew in a few years you'd want to be going faster keeping up the modern traffic is no problem Every time the speed limit increases, you just take more of your rockers off right there and you're good to go. But anyway, guys, what we're gonna be doing today, we have, like I said, we have a series of torture tests for this unit. We're waiting on my one buddy to get here right now, but once he gets here, the torturing of this vehicle will begin. Let's get started. Welcome to the Crank of TV channel. Well, since John's taking a little bit to get here, we're gonna start the durability test because we need to make sure, you know, we wanna be safe about this, so we're gonna pop the airbag out of this unit. Since we really don't have time to wait 48 to 24 hours to let him discharge, we're gonna see an experiment. If your family was in the car, all right, you're not gonna have the hood open. The hood's gonna be closed. If your family was in the car and all of a sudden someone comes at you with a pickaxe, well, the Dodge Neon hold up is what we wanna find out. So we're just gonna take a little bit here and you know we have to get to the, to the sensors so we have to make sure that the dodge neon will hold up to an axe murderer coming in and just taking the brute beating it's actually holding up surprisingly well Ugh. he won't be able to get in just seeing how much it takes what the heck they aren't even going off oh i hope i didn't punch the radiator we hit the radiator. All right, this is holding up surprisingly better than I thought. So we had to resort to more uh, forceful tactics here since uh, the ax, apparently if an ax murderer comes out, yeah, you're safe in the neon. So let's just hear that. Oh, why is it so hard? All like the freaking death billies at freaking Dodge Inc. that designed these things just like freaking put 10 tons of like iron in the plastic, I guess. Right. The goods have arrived. You think that's an airbag sensor? I just turn the car on, leave it running. Like it's in an actual accident. You're right. That's well, what we're trying to recreate exactly. here. Exactly. We're trying to see if you were to get into an accident with a mass murdering sawzalled pickaxe family murderer, what would happen? You're going to be tacking her up when, you're, when your family's in the car. Nothing happened. Maybe it's the wrong one. Well, darn it. We're gonna have to figure out another way to do this here. All right, Jim Bosses, we got her unhooked from in the interior, the superior interior right here. Old Jim Beef has got the airbag coming off right here. Boom. That thing fell apart like my third marriage, boy. Yee yee. She's out. Let's get the passenger one out here, boy. Why do I have a southern accent all of a sudden? That's the, that's the airbag. Ah, this is getting to me. Why is every single freaking piece of plastic on this car like rocketly sized closed oh all right so i take the glove box off it says there's like two screws so apparently you gotta take the dash out too dodge just designed these to be like complete pieces of junk you know so we're just she's just gotta come out this dash is like man i could probably like sell this on marketplace we're not gonna do that how can dodge make their dashes crack in their pickups and not in their neons.
There she is. What should we name her? Bocephus. That's its name. There's Bocephus the airbag, guys. Of the 2004 Dodge Neon, guys. Simple instructive video. It's out of there. All right, don't look. It's out, okay? Cut the video. To continue the durability test of this fine piece of American machinery, let's find out what would happen if someone were to come up to you and just put your wiper on your windshield, except a lot harder, okay? See how durable the windshields of a Dodge Neon really are. See, it doesn't do anything. You're never gonna turn it off now. If something were to just come through your window, like something like a monstrosity of a unit were just to shoot right through your window, what would happen to you? If you were in a 2004 Dodge Neon on the highway sitting in traffic, there's a lot of robberies that go on. We're gonna simulate a robbery. Great. <laughs> <laughs> if you were getting robbed in a Dodge Neon, you'd probably get robbed in a Dodge Neon. I mean, there's really no protection. So you can see, if old Bo Cephas, Jim Beefus, Slim Kephas comes over and just freaking takes your child out and rips him through the window, the glass is gonna come out with it. Pretty much this is your child right here if John rips your child through the window. That's what's gonna happen to your kid. So don't, Dodge Neon, do not put your family in Dodge Neon. All right, folks, for this next segment here, we're gonna see if you were to be in a dangerous area, somewhere where you're at risk of getting fired at, boy. So today we're gonna see if you're in the wild west. How good the old Neon's gonna hold up. 1863. Here we go. All right, boys, just like old Clint Black shows her to you. The old Neon won't survive. I can't hear a thing. The old Neon won't survive the Wild West, boy, but you can by not owning a Dodge Neon. You know, where I come from, we're used to being farm people. That's why we have these weights here. Specialty forge tractor wheel weights meant for doing the job right. And I always do the job right. So we're gonna see if you were to get attacked by a farmer on the highway, on the road with the Dodge Neon, and he would just rip one of his weights off. You're pretty much at the tractor pull right now. You just went there. As I picked the weight up, you're pretty much right there. So <laughs> these are really heavy, you guys. <laughs> Here we go. Again, you're at the farm. We pick her up. All right, oh, there's, there's some glass on her, guys. Be careful, man. You're at the farm, at the pole. You have her on the hook. But, but is she really here? Through the window. On the hook. One more time. You're at the dance. The final recital. This is the time where the cowboy rides away. Wearing my six shoot, riding my pony on the cattle drive. <laughs> All right, looks like this cowboy had to ride away. This cowboy is gonna get the job done. The next test, we are gonna show you the dirt bill. Oh! <laughs> mm. We have crippled one of our cameramen, guys. That was the- Oh, God! <laughs> oh, the cameraman doesn't get crippled. No! The cameraman fights back. He's angry. That's what three bucks an hour gets you. I'll tell you what. Good cam. Quality. He's straight out. <laughs> that is some tough blast. What in the heck is wrong with these Neff freaking beefuses? I'm so sick of it breathing! How come mine didn't do it as you? Oh! Well, what the? That's how you get the superior interior. You know, guys, I'm just so tired of all these Neff billies in the world. They just don't do it justice. Sometimes things happen like that. Like, I wasn't expecting that. 
it wasn't planned for the video and now it happened and I can't get to work tomorrow because my car is destroyed. See what happens when you buy a Dodge product? This windshield just does not break. They designed their dashes and their windshields in 2004 not to break. Come on now, son! All right, guys, for this next test, we're going to see if you were to be in a Dodge Neon. We got the window out, by the way. You can see that. You know, we're going to see if you were to be in a Dodge Neon at a monstrous unit. Just hooks chains to you, all right? Drop her down and low to get in the hoe. All right. There we go, Hall. What's under? <laughs> I think she stopped running, John. You might have to tow me home. <laughs> we might not have a derby car. <clears throat> Look at <laughs> Look at this freaking like 30 yard burnout mark. That is. <laughs> that gets me. <laughs> Let's see if she'll start. We start. I actually think it died. I couldn't tell. Oh, we just flooded her She's out. She's loyal. She's a wild beast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I swallowed like eight tons of like glass silica. There's a check engine light on now. That that wasn't on before. We gotta have to plug her in a scanner, see what she needs. Hold on, but we'll give her the old. The old red line rebuild here. Come in and show them the tack here, Hoss. Bring her on in. This is how we rebuild them, all right? Down a diesel. Heifer diesel performance. You remember from the last video, I called them then. I'm calling them now. Got their business card on me. Call them up. Red line rebuilds all day long, Hoss. Well, it's the next day. We had to cut it short yesterday because it was getting kind of dark out. And I figured, why well, film in the dark? You guys want to be able to see what's going on. But I'll give you a little once over of what we got going on with the Neon here. And then uh, we got to get to work on her because, like I said, what we're actually doing with this car is we're putting it in a demo derby. It's actually less than like 30 hours away from now. So this car has to be ready. And pretty much all we've done is just destroy it. So now we got to actually take the interior out of it, which I'm probably not going to show because the video is about destroying the car. But I'll just give you a quick tour of what's going on with her so far. So here she is, the poor old Neon. She's been through a lot. And all the stuff we did yesterday was some of it was to get it ready for the derby, like taking all the glass out and whatnot. But the tug of war, you know, that was just for fun and all that. We did wind up puncturing some holes in her over here. But you think she'll fire up after a, after a long day of abuse yesterday? Let's see how she does. There's like glass all over the seat. So I'm not going to sit in there. But we have like, oh. They still have gauges. Here we go. Let's see what she can do. Oh my goodness. What a loyal unit. Power steering even still works. What a beautiful piece. She still has it in her, guys. She's ready for more destruction. She's not done yet. She still has a lot more to go. We have to take these two taillights out. The rest of the glass has to come out. And then we just got to clean up the interior, take all the seats out except for the driver's seat and... She should be ready to go for the demo derby. Also, all the plastic has to come off the exterior, so we're going to do that too. But once my camera guys get here, we'll start filming some more destruction for you. Well, guys, the old camera crew got here a little late, but as you can see, John over there is welding the door shut. 24 hours left until the derby. Actually, probably a little bit less because it's like 6, 6.30 right now, but we're going to get her done. And uh, we'll film the rest of this tomorrow, you know, just to spray paint and continue destruction of her. But right now, we got to get these doors welded shut. Then we got to put an inline switch for the fuel pump to cut her off just in case, you know, we roll, flip, and dive off a cliff or something like that happens. But I'll fill you in on that tomorrow, so I'll see you in a bit.
after the next, and there's less than 12 hours to go until the Derby, and guess what's still not done? The Derby car. But we did get a lot of stuff done to her, and there's only a few things left to do. So come on in here, and I'll gander at you what we got done on this fine beast here. We got two holes cut in the hood for some ventilation, just in case, you know, there's a fire engulfing me in flames. They'll be able to rip the hood off. At least we can save the hood. Come on over here now. We got some fat tax laid down. As you can see, all the doors are welded shut. Pretty much the general lee right here is what is what I'm talking about. Other than that, we got the entire interior ripped apart, as you can see. She's all torn out except for the driver's seat. What we have left to do to this old girl now is we got to put a roof sign on her. We have to wire in a fuel pump shut off. And then we are set to go for the derby. So let's hop in this unit here. I'll show you how we get in her now. All right, just like Bo Duke, okay? He just hops in. Just like Bo Duke, he hops in. General Lee. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's fire this hog up here, boy. Come on now. Cold start. Oh, yeah. Right to the floor. Yeah. The gauges aren't working. We need to fix that. Um, there's a little thingy in here. And they're unplugged. Well, push her back in there. There's a screw here somewhere. I probably lost it. Good enough what we do here. I've always wanted to run a car without the cluster in there so I could like play with the gauges as they're moving. And one time my brother's 90 Chevy, he took the gauge cluster off, but he wouldn't let me like rip the tack out while he was tacking her up. So now we're gonna do that. Oh, no way. Why is the speedometer working? Oh, we're not going anywhere, that's why. Oh, what happens if you? Oh. <laughs> that's so cool. We'll tack up. Wah, wah, wah. So cool. That is awesome. We're definitely running it like this. Alrighty, we got the old y'all ball here and a six ho power stroke battery ready to cut her apart. Got the metal blade, not those cheap all purpose ones. The only purpose we have is metal cutting. Next up, we got two things left to do before she's ready to hit the track. We have to put a sign on her on the roof there. You know, let everyone know it's me. They're gonna know it's me. Oh, we're bleeding. Then we gotta wire up a cutoff for the fuel pump. So let's get to doing that right now. <laughs> folks so as you can see some time has passed or well three seconds has passed for you guys but we got the whole sign here rigged up so she'll be able to get our number up there and then the most important part we have i'll show you we got that fuel shut off rigged in here so let me climb on in and we'll test her out make sure she works all right start it up tacks up pretty good got the fuel on right now See if it works. Oh heck yeah. She is a mover. Boom, look at that. Fuel shut off works, so what we're gonna do from here now is we're gonna get this thing spray painted, looking good. We gotta advertise for the channel, you know, so we're gonna get her in the front yard and spray paint her up, make her look nice at Vinny's body and paint here professional work. Like a mutilated Corvette. One flapper comes up and the rest just are cut off because it's mutilated. Make sure the welds look good. I think we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight every single weld so people know that it's secure and fastened, okay? Because people might, they might not feel safe in the derby. So now they'll know, that's not a weld. They'll know that the doors, all right, they're welded shut. They're, nothing's going in and nothing's coming out. And that'll soak in and stop the rust. And people always like to do this stuff where they like, paint their wheels and stuff so you know we're gonna chrome does not get you home today that's that oh 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 yeah now it's performance you see look at that now that's guaranteed guaranteed winning we'll paint the the drums too next up we're gonna paint this room over here i wonder what happens if you paint your calipers do you still stop we're gonna find out the day before, four hours before, 
three seconds before the derby. I'm going to mess this car up. I guarantee it. Hold on. We're just going to... See, there's people out there, they, they just do the lug nuts. The wheel will look like trash, but they'll like put these like high performance lug nuts on there and then that's what it looks like. It literally looks like someone freaking like had like a bloody tooth and they picked their tooth out and just used them as lug nuts. That's what it looks like. Giving these kids an edge of a here, boys. Oh, old gym boss over there got the seven three power stroke. That's enough paint for today. Whatever my buddies want to do when they get here, we'll let them do it. We'll put it on there. Let's take this old pig for a test drive because I got to make sure she's truly ready to be sent down that track. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take her on a spin. I think that's gonna about do it for today's video in the next episode we're gonna actually be taking this unit right here and throwing her in a junk car race and seeing how she does but if you want to see that you got to stick around till the next video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time on the crank up tv channel